What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Now, what you guys are seeing below me is, is me from a year ago. Hello, me from the past. But in today's video, guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about some preparatory things that I think that you guys should really be ready for. Because uh, chances are the small miracle is pretty much going to be the same. So today... I wanted to kind of give you guys a free to play and pay to win kind of prep guide uh, for the holiday event that's going to get ready to come. Now, granted, just a little disclaimer, I anticipate some changes to this event, so I don't think that it'll be exactly the same. But I think the farm heavy format in order to flesh out the filler content now that we've been with Epic 7 for over a year now um, will kind of be the same. So... Just a small warning ahead of time, I wouldn't be blowing your sky stones uh, just because, uh, because you're going to need them. Trust me, you, you will probably need them for this event, especially if um, they make the skins farmable. So this event is going to start next week. Now, how they did it last year basically was like a three-week event and like different parts of the event opened up every week. So you had a bunch of different, you know, formats and stuff that you can farm and we'll go over each of those individual items as we go through here. So... As I was looking at this, guys, the big thing here is you guys can see the format of the map. Like I said, it was a three-week event every single week. Uh, this time, I think they tied in New Year's, which is why we got the New Year's artifact, per se. Uh, but when you guys look at this, like, every week, something else opened up. And this is why I think that uh, even though we're getting the Epic Pass with Assyria, they, it, there could be a way that we could potentially farm the skins, per se, or just be able to buy them outright, because I know you guys are looking forward to the Fallen CC skin. So, um, when, when you're looking at this, if you guys look at the event currency that you guys are seeing here we had red socks um, and then the bakery coupons now how this worked out was we basically could collect these uh, the artifacts that we got during the event allowed us to be able to uh, generate more currency and then farm more currency and as you, you got this currency uh, through weeks one to two and three uh, then you were able to use them to open items and I'm gonna show you what these items are here in just a second now last year uh, we got the card of small miracles uh, for those of you guys who weren't here for that uh, we might be able to actually get this artifact again this year i wouldn't be surprised if they threw it in there uh just as a farmable artifact on top of the new artifacts over there so don't be surprised if this card shows back up again because they're trying to even out the playing field of all of the player categories for all the servers now, in terms of rewards, you can use the Red Sox or Bakery coupons that we got last year to exchange for all of these things that you see here. And this is where the improvements, I think, will kind of kick in because a lot has changed since this event was ran last year. Now, the farm heavy part, and this is where I foresee the improvements going because there were a lot of complaints last year about how the RNG on these uh, chests were pretty whack and it wasn't really worth it uh, because at the time I was super duper hyped because I was like, wait a minute, I have a chance to get gold transmit stones out of a chest. I'm farming this till my face falls off and then I opened up like 13,000 of these and I got like one golden transmit stone. Or I think it was like 13,000 socks that I farmed and and from that I can't remember what these cost. I think it was like 100 per or something like that. And I only got one one or two golden transmit stones. I was pretty salty about it. <laughs> so uh, with that, I anticipate uh, reward improvements, especially with um, all the new stuff like world balls and stuff. So, so don't be surprised if they add more rewards like those new elemental stones that are with world boss and pet snacks and you know all that jazz. But basically how this was position was uh, pretty much anything you pulled here was pretty good. It was a great way to get charms. I got a ton of charms from this event. A, a ton. I didn't get that much gold, actually. I got mostly charms and mostly runes. So hopefully they either improve on the multipliers of this or they improve on the quantity. But you guys can anticipate this being a super duper farm heavy event again alongside the Epic Pass because it seems like they're going to plug the Epic Pass in into this Christmas event. Now, as we get into the gear side of this, uh, last year we got the Hat of Small Miracles and the Socks of Small Miracles, but this year it's going to be a whole bunch of other gear. You guys are definitely, definitely, definitely going to want to make sure you get all of the gear pieces, and because there's so many pieces of gear, this is why I said it's probably going to be a ramped up version of what it was last year. Now, last year I probably did in between three to 6,000 Skystones just in farming alone without even summoning for Kisei, who had came out around the same time as the Christmas event. Um, so, just so you guys can be aware of this, uh, DN obviously is going to be here as well along with the skins you have to farm and or buy plus uh, you know farming to get all the the resources and stuff that you want to get uh, if the chests are going to be better than they were last year in terms of opening packs 
Now, packs are going to be really important. Uh, so if you guys are low spending or if you guys have a very specific budget or if you guys are pay to win all the way or, and you guys are new to this game, you guys don't know whether or not you should or should not wait. Um, they released packs last year. I don't know if the packs are going to be the same as this year or if they're going to be better. Uh, again, I wouldn't be surprised if they are better if they implemented like a five star ticket or something like that. But this was the pack from last year. And I'm pretty sure I can't remember. I think it was a $30 pack and a $50 pack, if I'm not mistaken. So it was 800 sky stones, 1 million gold, the four to five star hero summon, 30 covenant bookmarks, 25 leaves, and two Molagora for the 30. And for the 50, it was 1500 sky stones, 3 million gold, 50 leaves, 70 covenant bookmarks, 10 galaxy bookmarks, and three Molagoras for the 50. So really, like 80 bucks. I mean, it was a pretty good buy. But because the event was so farm heavy, I mean, literally, like, you'll go through these leaves in, like, a day. <laughs> like, no kidding. Uh, so, I want you guys to be prepared for that as well. So, if you guys are looking at buying packs, I would probably just save your money for now. Um, and try to position around these packs. Because I know these Christmas packs are going to come out. Uh, these Christmas packs came out 12-19. So, it literally was before Christmas. So, if they do the same scheduling, uh, this year it'll be literally... The, almost the same day uh, that these will probably drop so if you guys are looking at what you should do with your money for Christmas uh, I would probably focus it around these packs so that way you guys can be prepared and you guys have more information as to what you guys can do uh, with your resources so you can be better prepared to tackle this head-on because again this is gonna be a super duper farm heavy event so again taking everything into consideration and how much has changed and how much loot and stuff and different heroes that they've added to the game I wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be a ton more added to that to incentivize the farming because last year it was kind of on the dead side right but I think this year will be a lot better to kind of give players more um, motivation I would guess to farm and, and and farm more and get more stuff so like they'll probably put there will probably be a way to get these new skins that you guys are seeing littered throughout uh, the story we'll probably have an opportunity to get Basque again we'll probably have an opportunity to get the repeat artifact that we got from last year plus the new artifacts and stuff plus you know the new DN artifact plus the DN banner next week plus all the stuff that's going to lead into new year uh, so you guys can definitely 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 expect that so what i would do right now um and again this, this is tentative to change once we once we get the information on the actual event itself but what i would do right now is i would really start saving so i know a lot of you guys have probably already been saving for the end but the end is not the only thing that you guys really have to prepare for uh, mostly it's really going to be the farming that surrounds the christmas event because i think there will probably be another opportunity to get some great loot also, uh, this Christmas event couldn't have came at a better time, especially with RTA right around the corner. So with all the bonuses and stuff that are going to be happening, I wouldn't be surprised if they do like double XP, you know, uh, you know, the hunt bonus and you know, all that jazz. But this is probably a really, really good time for you guys to make the six stars that you need to make uh, so you guys can be prepared or more prepared for RTA or any other future content that you guys are getting ready for. So um, anyway, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover today. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns about the particular event that happened last year or what's going to be happening in the future, definitely let me know in the comment box below. Again, this is all tentative and subject to change because we don't know exactly what's happening. But since this is a repeat of last year, I wanted to put you guys in a frame of mind so you guys are anticipating the new packs and anticipate the amount of farming that's going to happen. Again, I said I went through three to 6,000 crystals just in farming alone. Like, not even, like, including the banners or anything. So I want you guys to be ready for that mentally uh, because it's not just going to be the summoning that's going to be happening. It's also going to be uh, farming the event and capitalizing on the rewards and whatever event uh, rewards that they have planned for us as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.